welcome back to my channel, The Double When Your Wife in America. So guys, welcome back. And um, I'm so thankful that finally I got the chance to make a video for you today. This video is, I guess, is one of the most important especially for those whose documents or the forms which you can see on the dates on the top right is already expired my parents will uh, be interviewed next month and i need to update i am not sure if you were informed by others especially for those uh, who are applying for their parents or their immediate relative that if your form in the past it is already expired before your interview date then you need to change and redo it again and again just want to give you again the uh, a summary that my husband is the hustle member i am not having any joint sponsor i am the petitioner the major sponsor and i am the daughter of the beneficiary the petitioner I am not working right now, so whoever who, who relates, who are in the same case with me, then uh, probably I will be able to help you, especially in, in, in the processing section of your petition. But again, I just want to let you know that all, case, all, all the cases, the cases are unique and it's different from each other. Now, I just want to uh, say to you just disclaimer that I'm not a professional, I'm not an attorney, I'm not a lawyer, an agent of any uh, any agency. It is just mainly me sharing to you what are my experiences, what I have done in my processing for the I-130 and, and the rest of the documents until, uh, of course, until my parents will come here in the U.S. If you want to uh, check on my channel, then you will get an idea what I did and definitely make sure that you don't copy everything that I that I did in my tutorial. Always make sure that you double check what you input there because you might you might write my uh, my my details in your form. <laughs> so make sure guys that you you don't copy uh, some of the especially when you're looking at the laptop in my channel and then you're also doing the form make sure that you don't you don't transfer the the details on my on the forms that i did showing you in the tutorial to your form now since my parents are from the philippines i had to send a copy again once again to see at that state that go so that before the interview date they will already have um, a copy or they already have it in their system the newly updated uh, documents that the petitioner should submit now i also have to submit again the financial work statement of my husband because uh, after we submitted the previews um, tax transcript and work employment a financial statement it was still his old job and after that he got hired to a new company so the amount that you we written we wrote in the i-864 a and i-864 form is already changed was already is already changed remember that in for example in i-864 there is a section here that you will be asked about the total household income okay let me see let me check yeah here in page five you will see in part six that it says here in number 20 current annual household income so i really need to change it because it will reflect as well in the tax transcript or in the um irs which is also very very important because way back 2021 when i submitted the i-864 and i-864a of my parents the most recent tax transcript irs tax transcript there is until 2020 only i started third most recent the 2018 then second most recent is the 2019 and the most recent 
on that form old forms is 2020 we already passed by april 2021 which is last year for uh the tax transcript submission and we already got our new copy for the 2021 irs tax transcript i need also to update that to my i-864 and i-64 i-864a form which is in page five here you'll see that in page five in the form i-864 in 24.a. in the federal income tax returns information section you need also to change it in i-864a in page let me see yes in page two page two guys in part four part four two a one a one a until two c here as well it's the same it's the same in i-864 that it says also in number two a most recent 2021 to be second most recent 2020 to see third most res recent 20 2019 the most recent amount there of our annual household annual income is still in tax year 2020 since we already got our 2021 and we are already now in 2022 it's really uh, needed to change that section in your i-864a form as well in i-864 form of your uh, beneficiaries and here is the copy of our w2 2021 i also scanned this because in cap.state.gov um, website i only uploaded and uploaded until 2020 so that's 2018 2019 2020 as well as the passport of my mom my dad's passport he is fine it's not yet expired before his interview date i guess it was expired around 2029 and my mom passport in that uh that i submitted before in CF, it's already expired and he she just got her new passport and remember guys that uh, passport number is so important when you apply for a visa therefore you really need also to submit biographic front page of the passport of the beneficiary if it already expired now this new passport that my mom got will expire on 20, 2031 yeah she she got her new passport last last year july i will also give you another video in the future after this probably but i'm not sure i have a lot of video to still upload but probably probably i will upload the next one is how to to request the your specific amb embassy of the beneficiary's country if that if where is the beneficiary is living right now just like mine my mom and dad are still in the philippines so i need to uh, go to uh, u.s embassy manila website in the inquiry form page section in their website to tell them that i would like to open again the ds260 because in the pre in the ds260 guys the passport number of my uh, my parents my my mom i'm sorry my mom the passport number of my mom there since she already got a new passport is the old one therefore i need to request to the manila embassy u.s embassy in manila to open again the ds260 so that i could edit the passport number of my mother there but my dad he is fine yeah so i will also make another video for that and as well as i'm not so sure if we we it's been a while it's been a while i don't remember anymore what else the uh, information that some of the information that we have written in and this to 60 because we just move as well and i need to if there is a section in the S260 that we put our address, then I also need to, to change not only the passport number of my mother there, but as well as the address in the S260. Therefore, I, I, I have to check it again, guys. I, 
yeah sorry i need to check it again if there is address that we we input there in the s260 because if if there is then i also need to request to to reopen the ds260 of my father because i also need to update our address there so many things to do i know it's crazy especially if you are going to petition your mom and dad and then the, the passport is already expired and then you got the new one the forms already expired and then you need to update the forms if your husband or whoever else the the joint sponsor the household member already got a new job and then got a new income then you need to update everything now i will gonna show you where i'm gonna put all these new updated documents i already scanned this guys i already scanned everything last night double check side by side just like what i did before of course compress them to 2 mb or below i also have another video in in my channel if ever your your documents will be rejected by CAC because CAC on, only accepts 2 mb file size or below now all these documents are i already have it in my computer and I already have it uh, compressed last night as well. Now let's go! So, log in. Here. Characters. I will do my mother first so that I don't get confused. Mother first. Now we will go here in the document section up right. Now here I will do first on the petitioner petitioner section first, then later on I will do the household member. I don't have the joint sponsor, so I will only show you, I will only be able to show you the petitioner section and the household member. Now I'm gonna start first in my in the petitioner section. I need since I have here the tax transcript only until 2020, I will upload that. I will here as well the 2021 IRS tax transcript. Now I will click here guys add a document. You have to do, uh, document type. Now here I have to click federal income tax return. Choose a file. Okay updated one where is it okay here this is the compressed one you have to make sure that you will upload you will upload the comp the, the one that is 2 mb or less in file size i always feel nervous every time i upload documents in siak <laughs> i just like i don't know i just have this feel i don't know guys do you experience that i have this feeling that i make scared i make a mistake this is this is terrible feeling <laughs> well i will upload that one the compressed one open before we only submit it until year 20. upload now I already got that one. I'll put this on the side. Form. Then add a document. Document type I eight six four. Choose file. Petition. Sorry. Okay. Upload. Submit documents. Just click yes. Okay, document submission received. Okay, your documents have been submitted to the local U.S. Embassy or consulate. If any documents do not satisfy submission standards, you will be contacted to submit or replace them to the check the document. Your case cannot be approved until all documents satisfy submission standards. You must bring all your original documents to your interview. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, close. Um, the I-864A of my mother. Okay. Go here on the section, add a document. Select one I-864A. 
just fine. Upload. I'll definitely as well upload the birth certificate of the household member just to make it sure if ever, guys, they will look for it. Now it's already there. I'll click the add a, add a document. Okay, select one. Upload. Now I will also add the uh, recent 2021 IRS transcript. Now, just click add a document, select one, federal income tax return, a transcript, choose a file, let's put here. I know it's redundant, but I just want to make sure that I just put something in here, guys. But it's up to you. It's, it says you're optional, but I just want to put something in here. Recent, most recent transcript. Most with most recent. Okay, upload. I believe that's all that I need to submit in behalf of the household member. Now submit documents. Yes. Close. Now for the passport of my mother, I have to go here in civil documents section, upper right, click the civil documents. Then you will see the name of the beneficiary over here. Now you click here, guys. Add a document for passport biographic page. Scroll down. Choose a passport of the beneficiary. Upload. Click upload. Mommy. Yes, Trey. Now click yes okay guys take care everyone god bless you we will see you in the next video bye